Hello and welcome to another session on triangles. In this session, we are going to take up uh, another theorem. And the theorem says that angles opposite to two equal sides of a triangle are equal. Okay, so I have drawn a triangle ABC. You can see ABC is a triangle drawn here. And uh, I have measured the sides AC and BC. You can check this, right? And uh, both of them are equal to 10.12. I have also measured the angle A and B, alpha and beta, 57.09, 57.09 degrees. Okay, so what we are going to do in this session is, first we will try and validate this in terms of uh, if I change the position of A, B and C. So what happens? So does this uh, theorem hold for all the configuration and shapes of A, B, C or it is just a specific case? Okay, so we will try and validate with different different uh, locations and orientations of point A, B, and C. That's point number one. After that, what we are going to do is we are going to prove this theorem, right? So proving is also important. Just validation will not help. Validation is just to understand that yes, it works. So I am constructing a triangle and seeing for myself that yes, the theorem does uh, work. And and if it works, then uh, it is our uh, you know our next step to find out. The way to establish it generally that means uh, we have to give a general proof of it so let's start with the validation so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the position of c and you have to observe the angles formed so now this is the new position of c and you can see what is the value of uh, alpha 40.99 40.99 the sides remain the same if i change the location of b let's say now i'm changing the location of b so you can see the value of ac and bc has changed but angle remains the same angle angles all both the angles always are equal okay even if i change the location of a let's say so let me do this okay and here is point c the sides are equal angles are same so you can take it to this side as well see sides are always equal and as sides are equal the angles are same so this is taking a reflex angle in this case because it has been measured like that so let me go back to this position and let me come back to here a Okay, so you can see at any location of A and B or any configuration of the triangle, the theorem does appear to be holding good, right? So all the cases, if the sides are sides are equal, the opposite angles are equal. Now you'll ask how to prove this theorem. So that is interesting. So let's try and prove this theorem. So how do I prove this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bisect angle ACB. And definitely, I am going to use the concept of congruent triangles. So, I am going to bisect A and uh, angle C basically. So, if you can see, there are two, two, this thing I don't want this bisector. So, let me take it away. So, yes, so I am bisecting it. And let's say this point here, intersection point here is okay and let me take away this bisector and simply let only a segment stay over there so what i'm going to do is now uh, i am going to add a segment so c b i'm joining right so what is the construction guys construction is so let me also write now so i am going to write okay so what i have done is so let me first take this um, diagram a little sideways where we get some space to write on. Okay. Just a minute, guys. So here I am shifting it. Yeah. So let me write this proof on the right side. So hence, what I have done is angle, if you see. So what do I, well, the construction is CD is bisector of angle ACB okay right now in triangle let's say ACD and triangle BCD BCD what do we know we know that uh, AC is equal to BC. It's given. So let's write given. What else? We also know that 
एंगल ए सी बी ए सी बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी सी डी बी सी डी वाई बिकॉज सी डी इज द बाई सेक्टर सी डी बाई सेक्ट एंगल सी एंड वॉट एल्स यू ऑल्सो नो सी डी इज इक्वल टू सी डी इन बोथ द केसेज कॉमन दे आर कॉमन Isn't it? Therefore, what can I say? Therefore, if you see, therefore CD, therefore triangle ACD is congruent to triangle BCD, right? BCD by what criteria? By SAS congruence criteria, right? By SAS. Therefore, what is this? Let me write it little clearly so that you don't get confused. so it is by s a s okay therefore and i'm writing here therefore therefore you can always say angle a is equal to angle b okay and this is nothing but corresponding parts of corresponding triangles right so hence prove so we prove that angles opposite to two equal sides of a triangle are always equal and in fact the vice versa is also true that is the converse is also true if the angles are equal then the sides have to be opposite sides also are equal right once again if the opposite angles are equal of a triangle or two angles of a triangle are equal then opposite sides of the two angles are also equal right so that converse is also true so i hope you understood this theorem and let's now solve some problems based on this theorem 